Hello guys, it's me Beata from horoscopesandreadings.com and welcome to today's video. You know, uh, recently I actually went uh, through your comments on my latest video about Pluto Mars and there was one comment in particular that caught my attention because uh, my viewer asked me what uh, she can expect uh, as her transiting Pluto is making square to her Venus-Pluto opposition and uh, it's exact, you know, she literally wrote me that today it is exact orb, not today, I mean two weeks ago, but you know what I mean. So uh, I love this type of questions because, um, um, you know, from my experience, uh, transits uh, from Pluto are the most important, okay? So if you are undergoing through Pluto transit, this is going to be major theme, actually, uh, of your upcoming year, you know, because Pluto transits, uh, they may last up to one and a half year and Pluto is the slowest moving planet, but actually has the biggest impact on our life. Uh, that's why I know that what she is actually dealing with may be very important. And there is that added layer to it. You know, everyone who has uh, transiting Pluto making any type of aspect really is experiencing something big, you know, in his or her life. But uh, our viewer has Venus Pluto opposition in her birth chart, okay? So these are nuances uh, to astrology we really have to pay attention because uh, yes, Pluto transits are important pretty much for everybody, but if you have, um, you know, this theme, and in her case, it's Pluto Venus theme in her own birth chart, this uh, transiting Pluto uh, will be even more important, you know. Well, if I had your birth chart in front of me, I would definitely have to look what is Venus opposition Pluto, what it really means in your birth chart, okay, which houses are affected. Th th this is crucial because uh, in these houses and also houses, uh, which are ruled by Taurus, Libra and Scorpio will be affected by this transiting uh, Pluto very much. You know, I know that you are all, uh, you all are advanced here on this channel. That's why I'm very specific in my videos. But um, uh, if you are just, you know, starting with astrology or you are here just, you know, out of curiosity, don't worry about this too much, because if you book a reading with me, um, I will tell you what you want to hear, your answers, and uh, no astrological details, uh, if you don't want it, uh, you know, they will not be specified in your uh, horoscope reading, okay? But uh, for you, because I know that you are advanced here, so this is what I would search in her birth chart. Now, transiting Pluto is making square, meaning squares are tensions. Squares in majority of cases, and I mean, I would love to say in all cases, will bring some sort of tension, uh, crisis, you know, a little bit of negativity, even though it may be very positive at the end, but as her transiting Pluto is making square to her Venus, this itself is very important transit. And of course, Venus is planet of love. So even if her Venus is not, you know, 
uh, connected uh, to, to, to love or to love partners in her birth chart, this is in, in many ways uh, will be about her love affairs, partners, even friendships. Venus also rules money, right? But uh, I would have to know her birth chart. But this is where we have to pay attention because Venus is making opposition in her own birth chart. This means that um, there is, uh, let's say, uh, s some problem, you know. Venus opposing Pluto is aspect uh, that really brings a lot of highs in love, but also lowest lows, okay? So if you have this one, you definitely know what, what I'm talking about here and now. Destiny comes into play and Pluto is making square and is pretty much, you know, playing with her Venus opposing Pluto. What can happen is that uh, she can definitely fall in love very madly with someone, but uh, this can be difficult times in love for her. Either that person will not be available, meaning maybe taken, <laughs> yeah, it's like cookbook thing here, or, you know, if let's say she is in committed relationship already, uh, this transit uh, suggests that um, there may come problems, you know, with current partnership. You know, this this Pluto square, it's like um, we have to understand that a lot of unconscious stuff is going to come to the surface. You know, a lot of triggers, right? Pluto square, it's, it's really triggering us in um, deep layers, uh, you know, it can manifest like maybe even though with her Venus-Pluto opposition, she probably is jealous already, but let's take someone like, you know, maybe if, if she didn't have this uh, opposition in her birth chart and now she's experiencing this Pluto square transit to her Venus, she may become very, very jealous and very suspicious, you know, it's like uh, we feel that something is going on, but uh, we really cannot tell, right? We really, we really cannot put the finger on it, okay? So, uh, uh, I, I will tell you something, it's actually from my private life. Uh, a couple of years ago, my friend uh she was actually experiencing uh pluto transiting pluto was making opposition to her venus and she has this aspect in her birth chart now what happened well uh, she lives uh, in uk but what happened was that we as as friends very very close friends we had argument and she wrote me, you know, by message that she, she is done with me, okay? And, you know, this is not a uh, type of behavior uh, uh, <laughs> uh, she actually... Um, th this is not how she behaves with me or pretty much with, with anyone. But uh, as I am in this astrology field, I checked her chart and I have noticed that she is having this difficult Pluto Venus transit and yeah she was overreacting you know we are completely fine because uh, I was very generous you know with her because I knew that she was having this type of transit and you know she was pretty much making stuff, making up uh, stuff in her own mind about me uh, and it was not actually true. So, so you know, I just uh, let a couple of days to pass and she calmed down and, you know, we are completely okay since then and this never repeated, right? So it, it was actually one-time thing, right? because she was experiencing this difficult 
transit. That's why I am pretty sure that this can affect not only your love life, but also your friendships, money, everything. You know, if you have like colleagues, female colleagues, you know, um, a lot of uh, gossiping, right, maybe going on. Uh, and, um, you know, that's why I think that it is important for us um, to be aware what is really going on. Awareness creates choice, right? So, but there is some general rule that if you have this transit, I would not uh, probably recommend you to to really step into new relationship with this one. But on the other hand, if you are in relationship already and you are undergoing through this difficult transit, well, you know, this will pass, right? So even if you have Christ uh, in your relationship, this will definitely pass. Just give it some time, okay? So this was my analysis. Uh, thank you very much for your question. And if you want, you can book a reading with me. It's pretty simple. Just visit my website, horoscopesandreadings.com or you can definitely um, read description below this video because everything is listed there. I wish you a very lovely week and uh, see you next week. Bye-bye.